Cleaver scales teaching these streets is heavy. Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But two guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit. Exceptionally quick on his feet. Sets up angles beautifully. Manages distance as good as anybody on the roster. Knows how to set up his attacks. Knows how to stay in his opponent's range. Figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. Exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lee! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon, Lee! Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angle is just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Establishing the jab here. Oh, straight to the body by Lee. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Take your time. Take oh, switch kick, nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, and this guy has done this technique thousands of times. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Right, Just out of range with that right hand. That was a nice strike. What a setup. He lands a beautiful flying knee. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. That right hand is landing, John. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he's coming. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Push kick right into the battle. Three minutes. starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Sidekick now. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. The kick is there to the body. Lee's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Single leg takedown. Where are your hands? Two minutes to go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Now he touches him with the left. Lee circling towards the left side now. High kick, it's there, it's there, go! Oh, high kick! What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Here could be the beginning of the end. Oh, nice kick. Oh, with authority, the body. 15 seconds to go. All right, so that round is in the books. Lee's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Right, you're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. All right, round two. Lee's elbow is blocked. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. That's the one right there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice kick, yep. Let me see some combos. Give me some combos. Head lock, head lock. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Hands higher, hands higher. 
big inside kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Straight hand there by Lee. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Fighting from both sides, lands in left hand. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Just misses with the jab there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Pretty fast jab. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Going to the sidekick. Under a minute to go. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Clean punch. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured his timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Thirty seconds to go now. Oh, man, as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Fifteen seconds. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Great block there. Coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, a huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Rip the body there. And do a work with the jab. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Body shot there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. He lands another punch to the head. Don't back up. Push forward. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. What a great job landing another punch. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Hands high, hands high. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Able to rip the body there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Lee's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Nice jab there. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 27 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?